Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Tom. Huge thanks to Tom and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Tom reached out asking for a deck led by Najila the Blade Blossom, and I was more than happy to build it for him. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the deck list, consider sharing this video as well. Najila the Blade Blossom is a 3 mana 3 2 legendary human warrior who gives us the option of creating 1 1 white warrior tokens who are tapped and attacking whenever a player has a warrior attack. We can, if we want to, give 1 1 tokens to our opponents so long as they're attacking with warriors. But it's a may ability, not a must. Also, we may pay Wooburg and untap all attacking creatures. They gain Trample, Lifelink, and Haste until end of turn. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase, but we can only activate this ability during combat. Najila the Blade Blossom is considered one of the strongest CEDH commanders in the game. She goes infinite with Bear Umbra, Sword of Feast and Famine, Derevi Imperial Tactician, or Druid's Repository. But Tom specifically requested a deck that didn't have any infinite combos, and that the deck stay under a $300 budget. Now, before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. One of my favorite products Ultimate Guard has is their Xenoskin Sidewinder. The Sidewinder has a soft microfiber lining as well as the rugged Xenoskin shell that we've all come to love. While the Sidewinder isn't a new product, they are now available in the beautiful Two-Tone Synergy series like this red-white one seen here. Find it if your local game store carries Ultimate Guard products, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I tend to rely on my handy-dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lanes and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, eight to 10 pieces of spot removal, two to three board wipes, two pieces of Graveyard Hate, and one Sudden I Win card. One last announcement before we get into our video. I've started streaming on Twitch. There's a link down below in the video description, but the address is twitch.tv slash Wildfire. Feel free to swing by. Lately, I've been streaming Final Fantasy XIV for the first hour or so, and then swapping over to make Commander Deck or prepping for future YouTube videos, so feel free to swing by even if you don't like MMORPGs. The schedule is Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Unless I've got an event at my kids' school, of course. Command Tower. Exotic Orchard. Deserted Beach. Sundown Pass. Shipwreck Marsh. Deathcap Glade. Rockfall Vale. Stormcarved Coast. Shattered Sanctum. Haunted Ridge, Overgrown Farmland, Dreamroot Cascade, Glacial Fortress, Clifftop Retreat, Drowned Catacomb, Woodland Cemetery, Rootbound Crag, Sulphur Falls, Isolated Chapel, Dragon Skull Summit, Sun Petal Grove, Hinterland Harbor, Bajuka Bog, Scavenger Grounds, Two Plains, Two Islands, Two Swamps, Three Mountains, and Four Forests make up the land base for our deck. I wanted to only run lands that came to play untapped, but also fit under our budget. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Felwar Stone, Decanter of Endless Water, Chromatic Lantern, Three Visits, Farseek, Rampant Growth, Nature's Lore, Cultivate, Kodama's Reach, Harvest Season, and Sky Shroud Claim help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. Samut, Vizier of Noctumun, Mindblade Render, Ristic Study, Shamanic Revelation, Eladomri's Call, Moonblessed Cleric, Rite of Harmony, Skull Clamp, Kindred Discovery, 
Idyllic Tutor, Whirlwind of Thought, Reconnaissance Mission, Bident of Thassa, Moldervine Reclamation, and Orin Frostfang help us to dig through our deck and keep our hands full. Swords to Plowshares, Negate, Counterspell, An Offer You Can't Refuse, Abrupt Decay, Hero's Demise, A Braid, Generous Gift, Beast Within, Boros Charm, Unbreakable Formation, Fracture, Bedevil, Destroy Evil, Terminate, Vindicate, Wash Away, Narset's Reversal, and Narset Parter of Veils help us to keep our opponents in line. Blasphemous Act, Dam, and Farewell help us to reset the board as needed. Champion of Lampolt, Lightning Greaves, Swiftfoot Boots, Impact Tremors, and Shared Animosity help us to close out games faster and protect our commander. Supporting our plan, we've got Roaming Throne, Ishin Two Heavens is One, Wolfgar of Icewind Dale, Ojer Tak Deepest Foundation, Primal Vigor, Parallel Lives, and Cathar's Crusade. Now that we have our deck list, we can compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. Right on target. 15 pieces of card advantage. 19 pieces of interaction. 3 board wipes. 3 pieces of graveyard hate in Scavenger Grounds, Bajuka Bog, and Farewell. 1 sudden I win card in Shared Animosity. Though, to be fair, Cathar's Crusade and any of our token doublers would also help to close out games that much faster. Now, this is not the CEDH version of Gila where you can win on turn 3 fairly consistently. No, seriously. Turn 1 Jeweled Lotus Command Tower, cast a Gila with the Lotus and Noble Hierarch with the land. Turn 2 Shock in a Breeding Pool, cast a Revy, untap the Command Tower, attacking with the Gila and the Warrior token she made. Untap Noble Hierarch and Breeding Pool, cast Ristic Study. Turn 3, go infinite with Derevi, win the game. Again, this is not that deck. Rather, as I told Tom, this deck goes a lot slower. Instead, he'll want to sit back with his interaction, ramp for a few turns, make sure he's got interaction or protection of some kind, then cast Najila on turn like 5 or 6. After that, he can crush his enemies, see them driven before him, and hear the lamentations of the women. Do you have a Najila deck? I took mine apart to help build a couple of decks for my wife, and because I didn't really have anyone to play against. But I may put it back together for Chicago. Oh yeah, I've been invited to MagicCon Chicago and hope to be going there, barring emergency. Leave a comment below if you're planning on going, or let me know what you think of Najila as a commander. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Danon. For only $25, you too can have a commander video built at your request. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jiraiya, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Josh, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Borky, Jake, Exiled Rogue, Nazwin, Pedro, Aaron, Tom, Echo Fox, Midge, Swifty, Lucius, Detroff, and Rally. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Dayton.